Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel and right now I'm gonna talk about my travel uh, last week, last weekend. I was in Prague, I was in Bratislava and I was in Vienna at the same time. So what I did is from Palma to Vienna, I took a flight from Palma to Vienna and then from Vienna to Prague it took me four hours to reach the place but it's really worth it and it's really fun riding and getting lost at the same time the only uh, the only thing that I had problem is with my internet you know it's not always working wherever if ever I'm going in a different part of EU, EU. I don't know why but probably because of my network provider however so um, what happened is like uh, I visited the castle in Prague and of course I was in a, one of the one of the popular pub there it was really good and it's not really expensive it's cheap and it's cheap actually and people are very nice though they are like very helpful they are like I said that human being is still a good Google map for me. <laughs> so, so yeah. So after I travel, oh by the way, for the tips, if you're going to to, to Czech Republic, um, I suggest that you you buy a ticket um, before you once you're already in or before you go to to your connecting flight for example Vienna uh, before I from Vienna I already had my bus ticket going or train ticket sorry sorry bus ticket going to Prague so that if I will not pay much I only paid um, if I'm not mistaken I only paid for 18 or 14 euro 14 euros and then uh, I'll check on it and then uh, Going back from Prague to Bratislava, I only paid around. Oh God, I forget. I'm not really good in numbers, but it's not more than 20 euros. And then the hostel that I stayed with when I was in Prague, it's it's, um, it's called Plus Prague or Plus Prague, and I only paid there for two nights for 34 euros. So it's not really expensive compared to Netherlands, compared to Switzerland, it's not really expensive. And then, uh, what else? Um, okay, so from, from Prague, I able to, I'm able to travel uh, to Bratislava. And uh, it's not that expensive, but it's not that cheap for me. And then, um, I just stayed there for like one night. Not really when I just half a day because I was in uh, trouble some when my flight was cancelled for the first to go back on first of May because Ryanair, you know, Ryanair cancelled my flight so I have to like think stuff that I have to do in order for me to go back to, to Spain because on the second day I have to start working. However, I'm able to do it but it's like a haywire so but all in all, I can say my travel, uh, the journey that I had is really fun, adventures, a lot of adventures and I met different people from different parts of the world, they are so helpful and then when I was in Bratislava guys, if you want to have fun, I suggest that you go to this tour, it's a drinking, <laughs> drinking tour, alright, so it's like a pub girl but the good thing is you don't have to pay you just have to pay the drinks that you want to drink and it's not expensive so for example the wine wine taste we had a wine tasting it's only cost three euros and then uh, we were we went to, to another bar which is the digit bar about the real vodka stuff or something like that and we only I think I only spend less than 20 euros including the tea to the tour guide and it's really good 
It's really good. He has kids gonna give you a free drinks every time you have every time you're walking out. To be honest, I'm not really drinking much because I don't want to drink when I'm traveling alone. So <laughs> but at the end of the day I have to catch a bus at 4 a.m. till 5 p.m. going back to Vienna to catch my bus to catch my train going to Klagenfurt to get my flight going back to Spain and it took me like more than 10 hours in total plus whatever so so I had a I had a little bit of hangover with that but it's really cool because I had fun I met people that are really really nice and yeah so that's my advice and also yeah you can visit the castle in Bratislava and just so you can walk I walked for like 11 minutes going there Um, I, I tasted some beers and the typical I think sweet food. It's really hard for me to say what is the name of that, but it's like a cone that made in uh, a, a cone, which is a bread cone, and they will put some cream on the top, ice cream, whatever you want. And then I paid like around five euros, six euros, depends on what toppings you like. So the more toppings you like, the more expensive it is. But it's really tastes good, so it's worth a try. And what else? Uh, yeah, so I met some locals. Uh, thank you to this guy, Jerka. Jerka, I'm not, I, don't, I hope I, I said it correctly, but uh, I met him and he gave me a lot of information where to go in Prague. Because when I traveled, I don't really have plans. I'm in spontaneous, so I'm just gonna be strike my feet and then after that, that's that's all. Yeah. But with with my friends, of course, I have to we have to to do some itinerary. But traveling alone is uh, worth to do. It's worth it because you're able to learn a lot of things. You get laws. <laughs> you ask people. You ask people if they're from that country so that they can help you well, okay? Because I, I don't really have an internet during that time. It's really hard. And some people don't speak English and I don't speak their language though. So, so for the rest of the thing, uh, for the rest of uh, the travel that I did, so please watch the video till the end. And then if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And uh, thank you for that. And now, I'll tell you later my journey going to Lusan. Okay, so please watch it. Thank you. So it, that's the place that when I'm on my way to Prague, so I took a bus. It's a, it was it's a four hour travel. And then I reached the Bernoff station. And then from Bernoff, I go straight to the party. And then in the morning I woke up and then go to the center and then try to taste this delicious legacy in Prague and of course went to the castle to see the beautiful view the most popular destination that you can ever uh, go. Yeah, 
fun and fun and then here I am on my way to Lagenford yeah it was also four hours travel by train yeah it was really a nice view that I could ever see but I'm still really sleepy so I did not really had a good video of this but I hope you guys are liking it enjoying the video so far yeah it takes me like a lot of um effort <laughs> to take the video of this place. 